heard of Bozo the Clown? No. How could you not know who Bozo the Clown is? I don't know. I just don't. How can you call yourself a clown and not know who Bozo is? Hey man, what are you hassling me for? This is just a, just a gig. It's not my life. I don't know who Bozo is. What is he, a clown? Is he a clown? What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, what is he? Yes, he's a clown. Alright, so what's the big deal? There is a millions of clowns. Alright, just forget it. Forget it? Me? For you, should, you should forget it. You're living in the past, man. You're a hen hen up and some clown from the 60s, man. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Go fold your little battle animals, Eric. Eric. <laughs> what kind of name is that for a clown, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. You must be George. I'm Robin's mother. Oh, you seem like such a lovely young man. Well, I do what I can. <laughs> Hi, Ma. How's everything? Oh, this is just a wonderful party. The burger should be ready in a minute. Ah, great. Great. <laughs> What's that smell? Smoke? Smoke? Everybody, I think I smell some smoke back here. Fire! Fire! Get away of the way! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great job. Intonation, everybody did great. Really, that was excellent. Everybody. Uh, David and Alexander had the biggest roles. Fantastic. Uh, pronunciation, one more time. Alexander? There's millions of clowns. Okay. There's millions of clowns. What was wrong? Ah. Uh, Off? No, I want it a little bit quicker here. There's millions ah. of clowns. There's millions of clowns. Perfect. And this one too. You're hung up on. You're hung up on. Perfect. Your intonation was really excellent. Forget it? Me for... You should forget it. Perfect job. You're living in the past, man. Your mans were perfect, too. Uh, David, get this one a little bit faster. Try it again. And this pronunciation, David, balloon. 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 Okay, try it again. Go fold your little balloon animals, Eric. Good. And be a little bit less nice. Go fold your little balloon animals, Eric. Go fold your little balloon animals, Eric. Perfect. And this was excellent, Eric. <laughs> what kind of a name is that for a clown, huh? Perfect job. Perfect. Anne, is it man or man? Ma man. There man. you go. One more time, Anne. Oh, you seem like such a lovely young man. There you go. Perfect. Uh, David, what's that smell? What's that, what's that smell? That's right. Make this S stronger. What's that smell? What's that smell? Perfect, perfect. Uh, let's go to the next one. Same, same characters. Uh, go ahead, David. Okay. It was an inferno in there. An inferno. There he is. That's him. That's a coward that left us to die. <laughs> Very good. And get the S. That's the. That's the. That's, that's right. The coward. Yeah, this is this T S T H is always tough, but just remember, you guys, the S is the most important sound. Whoops. So, what's that smell? And try this one. What's that smell? What's that smell? One more time. Get that S stronger. What's that smell? Great. And Anne, that's the coward. That's the coward. Good, David. What's that smell? What's that smell? That's the coward. That's the coward. Very good. We're going to keep going. Same roles. Uh, keep, let's keep it up the same. 
I was I was trying to lead the way. We need a leader, someone to lead the way to safety. But you yell, get out of my way. <laughs> because, <laughs> because as the leader, if I die, then all hope is lost. Who would they lead? The clowns? <laughs> Instead of cascading me, you should all be thanking me. What kind of topsy-turvy world do we, live, do we live in? Where? Where heroes are, are cast as villains, brave men as cowards. But I saw you push the women and children out of the way in a mad panic. I saw you knock them down. And when you ran out, you left everyone behind. Seemingly, seemingly, <laughs> to the untrained eye, I can fully understand how you got that impression. What looked like pushing, what looked like knocking down was a safe precaution. In a fire, you stay close to the ground, am I right? And when I ran out the door, I was not leaving anyone behind. Oh, quite the contrary. I risked my life making sure that exit was clear. Any other questions? Alexander. How do you live with yourself? <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, now we focus on Dave. If anybody, if anybody wants to practice, let me know. David, try this again. We needed a leader. Perfect. That's right. Get that extra syllable. We needed a. We needed a. Perfect. Okay. Now, David, in this case, okay, just the D here. Who would lead? Who would lead? Castigating. Castigating. Huh? Make sure you the get volume. the Y. Topsy-turvy world. Topsy-turvy world. Good. What kind of a topsy-turvy world? What kind of topsy-turvy world? Very good. Cowards. Cowards. Very good. And this one is for... Me. You. In a mad <laughs> panic. <laughs> In a mad panic. Okay. Mad, it's all the same. Mad panic. In a mad panic. In a mad panic. Perfect. This is that tough one again, that ED. David, when you did the dictation, did you get the ED or did you miss the ED? I don't know. <laughs> okay, try it again. What looked like... What looked like... Yeah, don't finish it too much. Let's, let's do it perfectly. What looked like... What looked like... Okay, great job. That was perfect. And let's say it quicker. Looked like... Looked like... That's right. What looked like pushing. What looked like pushing. What looked like knocking down. What looked like knocking down. Exactly, David. Believe it or not, that's that ED sound, okay? It's that real strong stop, okay? That was really good. Let's do this one again. A safety precaution. A safety precaution. Get that Y, David. A safety precaution. A safety precaution. Topsy-turvy world. Topsy turvy world. That's right. Once again, David, always for you especially, make sure you get that. I think it's for lots of Brazilian students. Get that final Y, okay? Okay. And there we go. All right. Anne, can you be George? Holly, can you be Jerry? And so we'll finish it up like that. Okay. All right. So? So she doesn't want to see me anymore. Did you knock her over two or just the kids? No, her two and her mother. <laughs> really? Her mother? Yeah. I may have stepped on her arm, on her arm too. I don't know. You probably couldn't see because of the smoke. Yeah. But it was somebody's arm. 
Um, so you feel women and children first in this day and age is somewhat of an antiquated notion? Uh, to some degree, yeah. So basically, it's every man, woman, child and invalid for themselves? In a manner of speaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's honest. <laughs> yeah. She should be commending me for treating everyone like equals. Well, perhaps when she's released from the burn center, she'll see things differently. <laughs> perhaps. So, what was the fire? Just a couple of greasy hamburgers? Yeah. Eric the clown put it out with his big shoe. Excellent job. Excellent job. Uh, that was really good. So, Anne, once again, don't worry about the H. Uh, let's say it quicker. Did you not? Ah, no, no, I'm sorry. We do need to emphasize this word, okay? Yes, because stop uh, after knock, knock, knock. It's me. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. One more time, please. Did you not get over two or just oh. the kids? Okay. So we, we do have to emphasize this. So Holly, like this. Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Did you knock her no. over? I'm sorry. Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Good. Now I'm going to say it fast and try and repeat. Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Did you knock her over two or just the kids? Very good. How do you read this? Anybody? Hmm. That's right. That's much better. So, <laughs> So, so Jerry, <laughs> inside Jerry's mind, he's probably thinking, you're such a bad person. <laughs> I think but, so. But outside, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible, so terrible. So, so let me ask uh, Holly, Santa, and Anne. Do you want, would you prefer to be treated as equals or would you prefer to be treated as special because you're a woman? Mm, sometimes, depends. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at the office you want to be equals but yeah. in an emergency you want to be special. Exactly. You imagine, for example, my husband taller than me, bigger than me, pushing me because he wanted to go out be the first one? <laughs> it's ridiculous. You'd kill him, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> but, but do you understand the dilemma that George has? Oh, we can always say, treat me equal, treat me equal. No, well, no, now no, he funny. does. <laughs> Poor George. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, honest. Yeah. Well, that's honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, George is terrible. I love George. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Questions good about this, anything? In this scene, it's very, very good. <laughs> it's so horrible. Like a politician. Yes, yes. I too. <laughs> yeah, George would be a perfect politician. I agree. <laughs> Questions? Antiquated. How it's. Uh, Antiquated. How it sounds. Antiquated. Antiquated. Yes. Okay. Old, and antiquated means old fashioned. Do you know that word? Yeah. Like from 80s. <laughs> the suits from 80s. Okay. Uh, like Beatles I'm has, from the, has. I'm from the 80s. That's not old fashioned. Oh, okay. From 60s. What's the matter? 
Now, Anne is from the 60s. That's not old-fashioned. Okay, from 40s. What's the matter? <laughs> you young punks. <laughs> Santa says, Coach Shane's ties are antiquities. Is yeah, that yeah. not an antiquity? Yes, it is. Oh, come on. <laughs> We've never seen that, that color of tie before. It's fashion, high fashion. Handmade? Do you, think, do you mean handmade tie? <laughs> Are you kidding? It's made in Italy, baby, Italy. Oh, forget it. It's in Italy in uh, someone's uh, first floor. <laughs> in uh, uh, World War One, Italy, right? Yeah. <laughs> There is no Italy in the USA. <laughs> Italy, USA. There probably is. There probably is. Italy, USA. Man, you guys are rough on me today. Italy, USA. It's a tough morning. It's a tough morning for me, yeah. <laughs> All right. Next question. Not about my fashion. <laughs> Can yeah, there's an the Italy, New York. <laughs> Little Italy. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, yeah, me, me. Yes, yes. Can you explain, because um, the homily, I didn't, no worry, I didn't understand it, and the sentence, basically, is every man, woman, child, and invalid for themselves? I, I, I didn't understand. Okay, so we have this expression. It's every man for himself. Okay, so we have this expression. Uh, and, and we can say it's every man, woman, and child for themselves. We can say the same thing. But this mm -hmm. is uh, an expression that we know. And what this means, it's every man for himself. That means every man must take care of himself, is responsible for himself. So do not expect to receive help from anybody. You have to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. yes. So you in America, America, the American dream, you know, get a job, get a house, have a family, send your kids to college. Uh, in America, the American dream is every man for himself. You can do it by yourself. Don't expect to get help from anybody. If you work hard, if you do a good job, you can be you can get the American dream. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, uh, in the army, if we said every man for himself, that means it's a very dangerous war situation. So, if you can survive survive okay um, but don't expect to receive help from anybody don't don't anticipate help okay we have the same in French but we generally add uh, chacun pour soi and God for and God God for uh, all people so every man for himself and, and uh, God, God for, for all people, for, uh, all people. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's the pro you know what then, maybe uh, this expression came from French. It may have come from French, but we just left out the God part. You, so, you don't say that in Spanish? Uh, I don't remember right now. Holy. Maybe. Maybe, maybe okay. Mm. Holy. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's up. Right now I don't remember. Okay, so in this case, Jerry added woman, child, and invalid. Um, which means so it's, it's an exp expression. Yes, but Jerry changed the meaning. Okay, and mm -hmm. when we say it in the, it's every man for himself. Actually, kind of has a positive meaning, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Do it yourself. You can do it. This is really an American way of life. Okay, mm -hmm. but Jerry has taken that expression and changed it, meaning 
a man is not going to help a woman, is not going to help a child, yeah. is not going to help an invalid. He really changed it to an evil expression. And George agrees, in a manner of speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Good question. For equality. Equality. Yeah. E equality. <laughs> Women want to be equal. What can I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Sergey says, uh, you're on your own. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, so each person is on his own. Uh, it's the same idea. Every man for himself, every man is on his own. He must do it himself. But once again, this, these two expressions have a kind of positive, us not always, but usually have that sort of positive can-do American mm -hmm. entrepreneur <laughs> idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think many. I don't know, but my understanding is, especially Europeans and maybe Asian people, think of American people as rather selfish. Is that right? Do you have that stereotype? Maybe, Maybe uh, I, that's my understanding Why? is other country people sometimes see Americans as a little bit selfish. Um, yeah. And I think this is where that selfishness comes from. We do have this ingrained in our persona. Um, so... Yeah, it's it's I it's not selfish as in the George selfish, but I think compared to other countries it's not really wrong. We 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 do have a lot of uh uh self-belief and uh we do try to get the best deal for ourselves. Yeah. That that's that is true for most part. Um, but once again, I think this, uh, I don't know, this is just me because I'm an American. Um, I, I like it. I don't like this. This is not good, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I do like this. And, and by the way, in many sentences, when we say man, it, this actually can refer to mankind, which means oh. people. Mm -hmm. Okay, not just, you know, physically males. It can mean women too, okay? So man, in this type of a sentence, does mean mankind. Yes. In, in French, we say to uh, help yourself and uh, the hell, uh, God, will help you help yourself. That's, that's really, you know what, uh, Benjamin Franklin... Um, who was a founding father of America, spent a lot of time in France and uh, in, in the philosophical world of France. And I, I think a lot of the ideas of freedom and liberty do come actually from France. So maybe these expressions, these notions have a root in France. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But you are, now uh, Americans are more gripped to, to them than French people. More yeah. British, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's interesting. <clears throat> I have a friend who uh, he's studying in the UK and he's from Asia. Uh, he's Korean. And uh, he... He actually has a, a very difficult time because he's Asian, um, and it's not, you know, strong racism, but it's definitely British people see him as Asian first and then 
a man. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. um, and I think, and I was telling him, I think it's different in America, not everywhere, but in many situations, I think, I hope, uh, that we don't care uh, as much uh, what color your skin is or where you're from um, because we have this each person on his own, uh, it's every man for himself. We have that philosophy. So sometimes race and background do uh, it is important but I think in the UK it's even more stronger than it is in uh, in America and Santa Santa uh, also is in the UK Brits are pretty mean I agree yeah um, it's I don't like the word mean because mean implies racism. Maybe they are. I don't know British people. Uh, and I don't know uh, the general feel. Um, but yeah, we hear about immigration rules and lots of British people are against immigration. And we hear that in America too. Um, so I don't know. It's a complicated issue. But anyway, this is, this is a very... It's amazing because normally we think that the Great Britain is very tolerant, it's very... <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I did too. I, I... We was, in French people receive a lot of lessons from Brits <laughs> because right. of that. <laughs> right, right. Um, I've heard, uh, I shouldn't say this, but this is, I've heard, I have no experience, but I've heard from other Asian people um, that Australia is one of the toughest places to uh, to feel equal, um, and I've heard it from uh, Spanish-speaking people too, especially from South America. That Australia is tough, um, and it looks like Santa agrees. Uh, but then I think uh, I think the British are less tough, and I think it's easier in America. But once again, in America. I think uh, people from the Middle East have an even more difficult time. Um, so it's really sad. Uh, but still, but still, um, a person from the Middle East um, can go to a big city and succeed. Uh, every man for himself. They can, they can live that, that, that life. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about this. All right. Any questions? May I start in? Sure. May I start in Spain? Yes. Yeah, you, you, you know, I uh, was uh, thinking about uh, nouns and verbs. You know, in English or in your language, every noun can be a verb, you know. And this time, say, look at a verb, barrel. You know, barrel. B A T T L E. Un unbelievable, you know, it's some kind of container, it's a noun. B-A-T-T-L-E? No, no, B-A-R-R-E-L. Ah, uh, barrel, yes. Look, uh, look uh, in the text, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Barrel, yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I, was, I was really surprised. I was really surprised about uh, this constellation. Do you understand the nuance of barrel as a verb? I'll explain. I'll explain. So this is a this is a great. So George barreled through the children and old ladies, right? Okay. So. so Imagine a barrel. So I'm standing, and a barrel is going to be from the floor about this high. So it's going to be a barrel is pretty big, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So can you imagine that the barrel is full of wine or full of beer, and then somebody rolls it, they pushes it? Can anybody stop it? No. no, it's really difficult to stop. And that's the idea. So if George is barreling through, <laughs> stop him. He'd is it a common us. expression? It's a common expression? 
for this situation, yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So actually, Anne, you, do you know American football? Yes. You know how the guy carries the ball? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Barred, yes. Exactly. So in football, we would say it a lot. Yes, barrels. barrels through people. That's right. Barrels. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sergey, that's a good point. That's a, and that's a great example. The oil in the barrel, too? Yes, yeah. This, an oil barrel, a wine barrel, a <laughs> beer barrel, yeah. Whiskey barrel, whiskey, con cognac. Yeah. Chocolate barrel. There's no chocolate yes. barrel, yes. Santa. In football. Yeah. The same. The nail or to nail somebody. Okay, let's be careful there. But yeah. Uh. Uh. Well, we can say he nailed it. Um, which means he got the answer. Per oops, answer perfectly. Nail as a verb can have a lot of meanings, but uh, this is a common meaning. Uh, but yeah, we can use the word nail as a verb. Like Sergey said, we can take many nouns and make them verbs. That's true. Like uh, we're discounting something. What do you mean? Did, did, you, remember, did you remember from Seinfeld? Where is uh, in the eye shop? I? Where Lanes and uh, uh, got a dip from a from a strange dog, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, we are discounting something. That's right. That's right. There is no word discounting, yeah. Yes. So we could say, "Don't discount me." As a verb, discount, right? Is this mm. the idea? Discounting to make the price less. I know, but not in this case, right? Yes. Uh, Don't discount not, uh, me. What does this mean? Don't what discount me? mean? Don't discount me. What does that mean? Discount. Don't uh, despise. Ignore, Don't me. ignore me. Yeah. Don't think little of me. And actually... Don't, don't barely tell me. Don't barely tell me. That exact, yes, exactly. Don't belittle me. And that's the idea. So to discount means to bring down. And that's the idea. Don't think little of me. And like Anne just said, uh, don't belittle me. Yes. Um, so, so you can see discount means a reduction in price. But if we use it as a verb, we can see, oh, yeah, little, belittle, make smaller. There's a relationship. Uh, mm -hmm. To nail something means to put it into the wood. And mm -hmm. to nail the answer means, boom, to hit mm -hmm. the answer perfectly. And mm -hmm. the barrel is a big, heavy thing. If it's rolling, it's unstoppable. So he barreled through everybody like a barrel. <laughs> yeah. It's an image. It, exactly, yeah. If you have a good image of the noun, and you think about it, you can see how it might be used as a verb. That's right. Yes. English is. There is a, there is a good point of English. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, it helps a little bit. That's right. So even if you see a strange new sentence, if you think about it, you might be able to get the answer. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> You guys did great today. This is uh, the live weekend, so I will be inviting you to the live classes. If you can join, excellent. If you can't, don't worry about it. Okay? Okay. Okay. David, did you fall asleep? <laughs> no, I'm here. <laughs> you, you became very quiet suddenly. I worry when you're too quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> okay. <laughs> uh, you guys did great. Acting intonation was really, really uh, excellent. Um, I recorded the Seinfeld section. I didn't record the beginning section. And I will upload this, so I hope you don't mind. No, no worries. Fine. Very good. Any other questions? No. 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 Nyet. Nyet. You guys have a fantastic weekend. And uh, today I'll be sending out 
uh, AP history. Is that okay? okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. It's good. Very good. Very good. Good. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.